Okay, so today I've had some RAM arrived, which I'm going to be installing in this laptop today. Is the Fujitsu AH530 Lifebook. Um, I got this off of eBay. It took a while because I had to get the specific RAM that they thought would need to be installed. I mean, I didn't want to buy any and then kind of mess it up because I can't say I'm really um, any good with laptops. I haven't worked on laptops ever, really. What we're really going to need for this tutorial is obviously a RAM, um, a crosshair screwdriver, preferably a small one as it may be troublesome using a larger one so there's the RAM okay so first you're going to want to remove the battery obviously but, I mean I figured I'd tell you some people may not be aware there we go it's a bit more tedious than I was expecting, but and you're going to want to discharge the battery by pressing the power on button. And then your RAM door, which in particular is this big one here, but in some laptops you just get a small dedicated one. You're going to want to remove all the screws and obviously keep them safe, don't lose them. And definitely don't be doing this on carpet due to static. I will put links in the description as to where I bought the RAM for this particular model in case anybody is interested. Now you want to open the RAM door. You can see the slot here where the other RAM is already installed. Okay, now you're, you're going to want to match up this notch here with this little black notch there if you can make it out and you're going to want to slip it in generally at a 45 degree angle and there we go Make sure it's in there securely, and you don't want to be putting too much pressure to push it in, so just be gentle with it. Now you want to attach the back door again. And with the screws you hopefully didn't lose. Final screen. Re, re um attach your battery. And now you can power on the system. Now when this laptop arrived, it did have 4 gigs already installed, and I've been meaning to get this video up for a while. For the price of, I think I paid £10 
with the Vitra I had available, but I think it's around £15 for the extra 4 gigs of RAM, which is nothing really. And hopefully it's installed successfully, which it should.